Hello everyone and welcome to Instant Replay where I give you my take on the most controversial calls of week 8. I'm Simon Borg. We start in Colorado where we have just one play to look at. The Rapids are down 1-0 and in the last minute of the first half they have a free kick that winds up deflecting off Seattle's Brad Evans who has one of his arms way up in the air. But lucky for Evans in Seattle, it strikes his face and not the arm. Good eye by referee Silvio Petrescu. Moving to Salt Lake, where referee Jorge Gonzalez whistled the first half penalty for Chivas after a handball in the box by Ned Grabovoy. It looks to me like Grabovoy's arm moves to meet the ball. It may have been instinctive by Grabovoy, but that's a PK. Good call by Gonzalez, who was well positioned on the corner kick. RSL's Grabovoy was also involved in the other big decision in the match, the red card to Chivas USA, Edgar Alchore Mejia. He's guilty of a clear off the ball forearm to Grabovoy's neck when the ball was already long gone in second half stoppage time. No doubt about it, the red card by Gonzalez was justified. But it was interesting that Mejia was not the first member of Chivas USA to hit the showers before the final whistle. Just seconds before the red card, Chivas USA manager Jose Luis Sanchez Sola gives RSL's Javier Morales a piece of his mind just as the player is walking off the field for a sub. According to reports from the stadium, Chalice and his coaching staff decide to just up and leave the field just moments later. Chivas USA could have had another player sent off in the 18th minute. Look how Mario De Luna applies the forearm to the back of the head of RSL forward Olmas Garcia. De Luna got a yellow for it, but a red card would not have been out of line. Heading to Dallas, where the ref crew had a good day. In the 29th minute, Dallas scored their opener, but did the ball cross the line? Absolutely. There was also some question about Dallas's second goal that sealed the match in the 50th minute. But the refs got this one right too. On Kenny Cooper's shot, Blas Perez is nowhere near offside. In Chicago, the Columbus crew thought they had the opening goal in the fourth minute. But number 14, Chad Marshall, who makes contact on the header, is clearly offside as the free kick is taken. Good call by senior assistant Brian Poschel. In the 12th minute, Chicago's Wells Thompson was really lucky to only see yellow on this studs-up tackle on crew midfielder Augustin Viana. This was a reckless tackle that endangered the safety of his opponent. It could have broken his leg. And in my opinion, it should have been punished with a red card by referee Chris Penso. One red card that was issued on the weekend came in Toronto, where Houston's Jermaine Taylor was punished for denial of a goal-scoring opportunity after a hand to the face of Toronto's Robert Earnshaw. We agree with Houston manager Dominic Kinnear here. This is two players jostling for the ball. There is no foul, and referee Drew Fisher was arguably too far away from the play to see what transpired. We saw another game-changing call in LA on the Galaxy's first goal. At the start of the LA counterattack, you see Marcelo Sarvas using his hand to nudge the ball ahead of him to keep the play alive. I'm not convinced at all that this was part of his natural motion. His arm has no reason to be up that high. I say the play should have been whistled dead right there. Instead, Sarvas followed up the play and scored the opener. It was a tough night for Sporting Kansas City and star forward Claudio Bieler. Just a few weeks ago, we spotted Bieler dishing a late forearm into the neck of DC's Brandon McDonald. And in the 89th minute of Saturday night's match against the Galaxy, he applies an elbow off the ball on AJ De La Garza. In my eyes, that should warrant a suspension. At Red Bull Arena, referee Fotis Bazakos had a big decision to make in the 53rd minute. To me, this takedown of New York's Roy Miller should have been Khalifa Cisse's second yellow card. It's a late, reckless tackle, but Bazakos doesn't even pull out a card. I thought Bazakos got it right in the 64th minute. New York's Thierry Henry goes down in the box after a challenge from Rev's goalkeeper Bobby Shuttleworth. Bazakos checks in with his assistant referee and correctly awards the goal kick. The contact is slight and was definitely not enough to bring Henri to the ground. Moving to San Jose, where Quakes forward Stephen Leonard was once again a hot topic. First in the 15th minute, he takes exception with Portland captain Will Johnson, and you can see a little kick by Leonard while Johnson was on the ground. No card for Leonard on the play, which erupted into a double dose of mass confrontation. Look at how many players from both teams surround referee Armando Villarreal. A disciplinary committee double warning for the Quakes and Timbers looks to be in order as far as I'm concerned. On the half hour mark, Lennart confronted Johnson again, but this time he added a little more spice, nudging his head into Johnson's face. The referee did not issue any cards here either, but later on in the first half, they were giving each other a high five. 
But for those who like to point the finger at Lenhart, check out this 80th minute kick out by Portland's Jack Jewsbury on Lenhart. And then it's Frederic Piquion with an arm into Lenhart's face that left the striker down for the count. In the end, Lenhart got the last laugh in second half stoppage time flicking a long ball into the box where it turned into another dramatic equalizer at Buckshaw. And lastly, an interesting one at RFK. XDC player Danny Cruz looks to get around midfielder Kyle Porter, but the move by Cruz involves a blow to Porter's face. But the contact was judged to be incidental because it's Porter who's called for the foul. There's one thing to point out here from the replay. Cruz has an open hand just before lifting his arm up, and then his fist is clenched as he makes contact with Porter's head. We'll see if the disciplinary committee will have something to say about this one. That's all we have for this week. See you next time.